promised months and months ago we're going to be heading three miles south of the infamous Skeg Vegas. So the whole thing sits in the county of Lincolnshire, which also encompasses the one and only Lincolnshire Wold. She cooked it fresh, but honestly, the fat that was in the fryer smelt like it had been there for about a month. Definitely not fresh oil, and they're gonna give these chips a right funky flavor. Yeah. Well, just checking on park for night, and this is definitely the spot. Look, oh, I can't really ask, can zoom in. That's where we're parked, right there. That's not perfect, but it'll do. I'm gonna get the crib set up and uh, get a kettle on, warm up. I think that might be the best plan Oof, with this weather. Aye. Yeah, frothy cappuccino and a sneaky bit of football, not too bad. You know what though, I was thinking, that round heater thing that we tried in the last video, I was wondering why it didn't work or why it didn't sit properly. It's made for the go fast system. This is like from Halford. And I looked the other night and the go fast system's got like a round thing here instead of a square thing, which is why that thing fits straight in there snugly. I think it might still be okay to use on this one. Just got to fiddle about a bit, but uh, yeah, that's probably why it didn't sit quite right. But it's only about quarter to five. It's still really early, even though it's pitch black outside. I think what I'm going to do is just chill out of a coffee and uh, watch a bit of football and kind of wait for the rain to stop. What I want to cook for tonight, I think I might have to cook it outside if I'm honest. It's uh, going to get pretty smoky, so we'll see how that one goes and uh, see if Watford can beat Liverpool. <laughs> well, the good news is the rain stopped so I can start cooking my food, but the bad news is it's dropped to zero degrees on the car temperature gauge. It's absolutely freezing. My feet are totally frozen. And I was just thinking it's predicted rain tonight, so if it is freezing, that's going to drop us snow. And, hey, I bought some snow socks for the car tyres, but I forgot to bring them. Or rather, didn't think I'd need them, so fingers crossed I don't wake up in the morning completely surrounded by snow. Oy. Although I have got the shit shovel, so at least I could dig me way out. I can even see me breath inside the car nightmare. Right, I think I'm going to get some scran on and get warmed up and then take it from there. Let's do it. Oh wow, it's so cold out here. Right, here's the reason I'm doing it outside mostly. We've done this before. It's gonna be gammon steak with egg and pineapple bite. Ha ha ha, there's a piece of resistance. And the reason we need to do it outside, because I'm doing it with chips. Yeah, I've got to use a lot of cooking oil. And it's not just I don't want the cooking oil in there spitting everywhere, but it's more all about the smell. It's going to absolutely stink in there like a chip shop forever more if I cook that in there. So I figured I'd just stick it on the ground down here somewhere, you know. Should be all right. As long as I'm quick. Nah, I've got the hood of the car, so let's do it. Let's do it. Right, that looks half cooked. I think what I'm gonna do is just pop that on there like that and then do the chips. Let's do it. How about it? Oh, windy as well, a little bit. Not too bad. Right, I don't know how much oil, I'm just gonna stick like most of this in, I think. Alright, that'll take forever to boil up, but whatever. Get some out of gas as well. Yeah, of course. Well, let's try one of these new bad boys. Minus 20, you know you do. Let's see how they go. I hope it fits. <laughs> I think it pretty much will. I'm almost universal. We're in. Ah, oh, looks good. Game on. I swear there's still gas in that though. It's like, probably that much. Why do these things always run out when they go to like that and then you can't get a flame off them? 
Is it the tip? I don't know. Alright, let's test the fat, see if it's hot. Oh, you can't. Check it out, check it out. It's bubbling. They're ready. Oh, it's ready. Oh, oh yeah, slight disclaimer as well, eh? Um, they're not like frozen chips. I mean, obviously they're frozen chips, but they're, um, they're oven chips. I don't know if they'll be all right. Should be, I suppose. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty chuffed about that. I'm cooking chips on my car camping trip. Psyched. <laughs> I don't know how well these are going to be cooked and how well they're going to taste. I should have used real potatoes, but you know what? I didn't. Oh. Could be a bit funky. They look a little funky, I'm not going to lie. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, that's way too much oil. Even got the kitchen roll. Living the dream. Well sorted, you do. A little bit of vinegar. Oh, yeah. What are on there? A little bit of salt. Oh, yeah. Ah, only the best. Sorry, Dad, I'll bring it back tomorrow. Damn it. I didn't go to plan. I should have made my own chips. They don't taste that great, but they're all right. They're all right. But, uh, yeah, maybe next time I'll bring a, a potato with me. That'd be an idea. But, Looking pretty good. And these chips are still a little bit warm. Not completely, but they're all right. Let's eat. As feeds go in the car, that's a pretty good one. And, oh yes, I've got full phone reception, like 5G spitting out bars. So I'm gonna get some live TV on, chill with the food. And take it easy. Oh, I don't know about this spot, you know? I'm a bit iffy. Like that van that was there earlier, he's gone now. He didn't even stop for like two minutes. Probably saw me and skedaddled. But we're in the middle of nowhere, a little bit like Falls Cave kind of location. I'm figuring it's 10, 15 miles from anywhere, really. So hopefully we won't get no bother tonight. Fingers crossed. I'm on me, Todd. It is what it is. A decent feed, the back end of the football, and chilling in the crib. None too shabby. Ho, 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 ho. living a car camping dream. Well, the chips weren't the best in the end. I think should have used proper potatoes, but the belly's full. And I think what I'm going to do, because it isn't getting any warmer in here, I'm going to get everything tidied up quick as and get into the sleeping bags and settle down and watch a bit of TV for the night. I'm not going to move from this spot. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. All in all, we're in a great little location to start trails for tomorrow from here anyway. And I'm hoping... We're going to get a clear sky in the morning. We should have some nice views from where we are. So, fingers crossed, got no bother. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, I can finally hear the rain stop, so let's have a look. Oh. Pretty great, but wow, nice. Well, this is a nice little spot. Oh, wow. Sneaky bit of blue sky going on. Sheep in the field, greenery all around. We've even got a bench to chill out if the weather's good. Not bad. And no one here and left to my own devices all night. I had a great night's sleep, listening to the rain pattering on the roof of the car. And then this morning, I kind of woke up at seven, eight, nine, and then 10. Every time I woke up, it was just rain bashing down on the roof. So I figured it was hardly worth getting out of bed and I may as well just stay in the snugness of it. So, ah, oh, but it looks like it might, might clear up and we might get lucky. So I think what I'm gonna do, get a coffee on, sneak a bit of breakfast, and then take it from there. Let's do it. Actually, there is one thing I want to do before I put a coffee on. <laughs> I'm going to use these compost toilets. I mean, it's a little grim, but let's check them out. You know, you know. I mean, it's not every day you get a car camping spot that provides a toilet as well, is it? I mean, that's just, hang on, that one's locked. Oh yeah, this one. Oh no, they push in, not out. I mean, you know, facilities, man, pretty sweet. All right, <laughs> you guys can wait out there. One eternity later. Ooh, well, it might have been pretty cool, but I'll tell you what, it was a definite squat and bomb, and you did not want to fall in that. That was a long way down. 
Right, let's get a coffee on. Absolute legend of a car camping spot. Seriously, full phone reception, compost toilets, views to boot, and no one here. It's off the road about 20 metres. There was cars going by last night, and I was wondering if they could see me, so I scooted up to the road and looked back. You couldn't see a single thing. I had one car pull up at the end of the sort of the driveway bit here, and it sat there for about 15 minutes. Really freaked me out. I had some massive spotlight on the top of it, but. After it scooted off, I figured maybe they were checking the spot over the road where the van pulled up originally. He didn't stop, I don't know if I mentioned that. But yeah, I definitely think I might have found one of my most favourite spots on the East Coast. 100% going to be using this one again. Well, I'm not going to mess about because time's ticking as always, about 12 o'clock. I want to get to the trail today by around 1. But yeah, food. <laughs> Let's pull out something different. Let's do some poached eggs on toast. Right, not gonna lie, I'm not completely sure how successful this may be or may not. I'm not great at poached eggs, but did it work? Well, we're about to find out. Kind of. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, I think we did. Ah, oh, we're good, we got poached eggs on the go, let's have it. <laughs> Wicked. Yeah, like, we're really not sure how long that's gonna take to cook, so I think I'm just gonna, like, bosh it on the side and, uh, get the toast on. It looks alright, I think. I don't know. Is it? Oh, no. Needs more. Needs more. Alright, let's do it with the toast, then. Mwah! <laughs> Legend of a little device. I'm so stoked we've got, like, a few little devices now. Also, we've actually used this once before, so it's had all that crap burnt off it now, so it should actually be okay. Hang on a minute. <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of smoke coming off this thing today to the extent where I think, fucking hell, I gotta open the door, man. It's making my head spin. <sighs> Mate, <laughs> that might be toxic. Oh well, let's just fucking eat it. Yeah, man. It's not uber toasted, but it's good. Good enough. No way, I've got a little dog coming up to the car. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah. All right. Let's see how well this uh, poached egg's poached. What? Oh, it looks all right. We'll get it out in one piece. Yeah, man. Check that out. Poached egg on toast. Legend. Oh man. Oh, I thought the ketchup lid was frozen or something. Oh my days, that would have been an absolute disaster. Check it out. So what do you do with your poached egg? I cut them up. Because then, if you have it like that, and then you can sort of do that, and then I've got a proper like poached egg sandwich. Epic. Well, I'm not going to mess about. I'm going to get this munch, going to get tidied up, and then hit the road. Let's do it. Check it out. I've acquired two new mates. Oh, where's your other one gone, fella? Come say hello. Hello. Hello, my darling. <laughs> I don't know where they've come from. There's a brown one somewhere as well. I think they come from the farm down the way, but uh, yeah, man, pretty cute. They must have smelt me cooking. Well, I was gonna say, do, 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 sun is shining, but it was, and now it's not. <laughs> the rain's coming in. I don't know, it's supposed to be dry this afternoon. I got my fingers crossed. Kind of what I waited, wanted to wait till about 12 when it dried out and then hit the road, so we'll see how it goes. I'm not gonna lie, I could have probably spent the whole day just chilling out here doing next to nothing. Really awesome little spot this. Definitely coming back, said it once or twice already. Yeah, it seems like nice locals, had a good chat with a few people around here. A few friendly little dogs, nice scenery, just an epic little spot. Really stoked with that. Oh yeah, and I found out about some trails around here. 
because obviously we're on parks and over the road there's parking that's for people coming to do trails around this area but none of my apps not a single one of them have got any of the trails around this area i bumped into a local and she gave me a little map or gave me a link to a little map for the trails around the lincolnshire world so next time we're here we're going to be able to do something that's not out there for everybody just kind of locals that know it she got it from the lincolnshire parish oh it might not be blazing blue skies we've got a little but it is tidy tidy countryside look at that ah sunday midday out in the countryside everyone loving it oh sneaky bit of blue sky that's what we want that's what we want come my way come on come on should we just follow the blue sky and go left <laughs> here we are then about a mile away oh 200 meters away actually we're here donington on bain little village in the middle of the lincolnshire world <laughs> see if we can find a spot to park there's a little lay bar pulling thing can i squeeze in i think i can you know I'm in, we're here, let's do this. All right. <laughs> ah, game on then. Looks like the weather's holding out a little bit. We've got some nice blue skies above me and a little bit of cloud around, but uh, yeah let's see where this one takes us i'll show you on the map actually so nothing too strenuous with a sunday afternoon it's a four mile high which should take us about two hours pretty cool though it's got views sort of a hilltop view that we can get to there's something special that i'm going to show you and then it also hits along what's called the viking way at some point which goes all the way from the humber bridge down into oakham which is the county next to me in leicestershire well out of the village off the road and onto the trail then it's already starting to look pretty good to be fair we've got a sneaky bit of blue sky in front yeah and yeah again it's nice to be out here it's not a mad mountain hiking trail but it's more of like a local rural trail you know it's not overcrowded, it's not loads of tourists around here, just a few locals out in the afternoon hiking, pretty sweet. But, <laughs> here's one thing for sure, the trail's gonna get sludgy and boggy, I knew it would. That's why I prepped out with the funky boots and trousers, oh yeah. Got them waterproofs going on, don't you know? Still not crag off, but still not wicked like hardware, durable material or anything, but uh, yeah, keep me dry for a change. Ah, check this out. Looks like they breed the sheep small in Lincolnshire. They almost look like lambs, they're not very big, but oh, mate, check this trail. It's an absolute sludge bath. And now we've got trees to clamber over and contend with. Oh, this is a funky one. Oh, I think the app was right. We're starting to get some nice little views. Back down in the valley there, but I tell you what, we do have one serious, serious problem and issue at the minute. Let me show you. That's good. The football started and we're on the trail. Oh my days. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to cut back to the car and watch it. Nah, I'm joking. It is what it is. Try and keep up with it on the trail, but uh. Oh, I totally forgot. I thought it started at half past four. Nightmare. Well, I'm at the turning point on the app, and if I go that way, that's the way it's following and telling me to go, which looks kind of cool. But oh, if I cut down this way a long way, that is actually like a TV broadcasting tower or something. Uh, but if I go down this way, hopefully I can find what I'm looking for. I'm not sure. That might be it there. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, slight disclaimer as well. Like it's not anything absolutely insanely amazing, right? But uh, I just found some information about it last night on the internet when it had full reception at the parking spot. So better come down and check it out. Looks pretty cool. Well, this is a bit dodgy. I'm at the spot, and uh, me, I don't see what I'm looking for. Really hope it's not been dismantled because. What's all that there? Oh, let's have a look, see what's going down there. This is a bit disappointing. Hey, wow. I don't know what these things are, but they might be part of what I'm looking for. Oh, me, are you kidding me? Unless, I don't know, what's this here? Let's go have a look. Well, looks like this is the spot that I'm looking for. Obviously what I was looking for ain't here no more. Let me show you quick on the uh, app what I'm looking at. Okay, so look, I'm up in this corner 
and if you zoom in you see like a little satellite dish thing there yeah it's basically the RAF Steingart radar towers I mean look how cool this freaking thing looks when it was here oh mate how oh, well it isn't we're gonna have to move on oh not really had that happen to us before bit of a disappointment really I'm guessing those Google Maps pictures must be pretty damn old but hey Oof, not a bad little spot to be, middle of the Lincolnshire wolds. Rain's coming in a little, but it's all good. Nice. Right, let's get ourselves back to the uh, corner of that trail again. It's about a freaking mile and a half back the other way. Hey. Well, I don't know how much you get of this, but the sun's glistening off the grass here. Check this light out, it's really random. It's like proper wintry. Look at that, casting shadows. Pretty sick. A cold time of the year is coming in. Bleak. Everything's dying. You know, pretty cool. <laughs> back in with the tropical trail mix, then. I knew that's the best one. And back to where we start the trail. All right. Not, not very funny, but the weather's looking pretty sweet all around where we've been and then where we're heading <laughs> into the eye of the storm. Oh man, good job I got my waterproof. Pretty cool this trail, I mean nothing spectacular whatsoever but just nice to be able to like roam in the fields and countryside in a place that you've never been before. Pretty good, pretty good. Sneaky bit of cloud porn going on behind as well eh? Tell you what, seems to have a bit of a thing for aerial construction in Lincolnshire, I don't know if you can see this. There's like some massive antenna there. What with wind turbines in Skagger, TV antennas and god knows what that is. Pretty cool. Right. Hang on a minute, if that plugs in there, and then that means, hang on, turn it on, yeah, now I can watch the football while I walk, <laughs> no, I'm running long, pal, nice to have a charge with me this time, wow, check this out as well, look at that on my trousers, it's totally, totally covered in mud, both legs, I know about down the back a little bit, but yeah, it must be waterproof because my legs are still dry, so thumbs up for the £3.50 waterproof trousers. <laughs> Alright, look at these clouds. Getting that nice autumn sunshine glistening on them from time to time. It's getting a pink a minute ago. <sighs> Buzzing. <sighs> Doesn't matter, you know, mountains, countryside, just fresh air. Away from it all, no one around, left in my own devices. Frick, I'm happy days, man. I think I should probably just go and build a little log cabin on top of a mountain in the Rockies or something. Grow out my beard and my hair and become one of them hermits in the mountains. <laughs> I could probably do it. You'd want a full phone signal for the football on the weekends, though, wouldn't you? You'd have to sort that out. Honestly, absolutely stunning that setting slowly over the hills there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Living the dream! You do. Know. <laughs> Boy, no return then. Nice little dry path or a muddy sludge bog. Pretty cool in a way though. This is actually the start of the Viking Way. So, hey, we're roaming a bit of history. Sick as well, man. Kind of like all that Viking stuff, you know, marauding through England, killing and a pillaging and all that. At least it's history, but it's good history, you know. Pretty nice. Well, it's not often I'm happy to see that I've gone off the trail, but damn, check this out. I don't know how much you can see of this, but there's a wire right here that goes over to there, and you know, and then it links up to this metal gate. And basically, the whole thing's freaking electrocuted. I mean, Christ, could you not just put a sign? Seems a little excessive and full on. I mean, imagine coming from it from the other side and not actually seeing it. Put your hands all over that gate. Woo! That'd be a shocker. Oh, crap. Literally. I hope there ain't no cows in these next fields. Ain't looking good. And I'm telling you what, these whopper wop turds are massive. Damn, that's some big bull. Oh my god. Oh my days, that looks muddy as frig. We might arch over here, eh? <laughs> looks like everybody's doing that these days. Alright.
Ah, oh, starting to lose the light. It ain't looking good. Probably got another 45 minutes of hiking to go. But you know what I was just thinking about? This is a nice way to end this trip on this trail. Not been over strenuous, just wandering around fields in the countryside. But after a nice trip down the nature reserve yesterday on the beach. And finding an epic looking car camping spot for the night. Really was great. I think it's fair to say all except for the satellites. I think the Lincolnshire trip's been a pretty good success to be fair. I didn't realise it had so much to offer to be fair. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Right, let's get back to the car. What? Christmas is coming, but... We're back at the car. Oh my days. Nice to see her. All right. <laughs> she looks good. She looks steamed up. <laughs> right, I'm going to get all my muddies off. Because I'm muddy as hell. Oh wow. We got proper lucky with the weather there. It's just started absolutely chucking it down with rain. But I think this is probably going to be a good point to end the episode. I've got a three hour drive. Back to Leicester now, in the rain and the dark. Hopefully I can get back early enough because I've got the grind starting early doors at shit the bed o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So, fingers crossed on that one. And as always, I really, really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series, and definitely hit me in the comments. Love reading all those. And as always, take it easy, enjoy the camp, and stay stealthy.